Good evening. How is everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Just got to add some links here and we'll get started. How is everybody tonight? Doing good? Hey, who we got on? What's up? Hopefully I'll be able to see comments tonight. Where's everybody at? What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? It's getting a little chilly here. Sound check, everybody here okay? Tonight we're gonna to be making a grapevine wreath. This is a sign that I made. Um, I even had my husband, when he made it, I said I wanted it to look kind of like it has stripes going through it, and he went and rattered that wood for me. So, he did an awesome job with it. And then I went ahead and put the word welcome on top here and decorated it. I have three of these left, and I did post them on my page today. We've got two kind of boys and one more girl left. These are one of a kind, so if you're interested, let me know. Plan on posting them on Etsy tomorrow, but thought I would give everybody a chance tonight. I went ahead and put the cable ties on the back so we can mount it. Oh, I forgot the pipe cleaners. Let's see. They're upstairs. Oh, no. Let me run real quick and get them. Sorry about that. Okay. Got them. I had them at the top of the stairs to remember to bring them down. And of course, I forgot. That might be just enough to go through. Everybody having a good Monday so far? I'm going to put a little glue in there just to secure it. I didn't paint the back of these because if somebody isn't putting it on a wreath, I could duplicate the back and paint it white and make a snowman out of it. So, I think I got enough there to pull it through. We'll let that dry a little bit. We even made the uh, the crow. I drew it. My husband cut it. This is actually um, that, oh, what do we call it? The stuff you use, oh, what's it called? The mesh roping. That's what that is. All right. Now, this was actually a candle ring that I cut up because I wanted the orange pit berries. So I cut it in half and I'm sticking part of it here at the top. So I'm gonna glue that and stick that in there. Now 
know it's going to be stubborn. Come on. Piece of wire sticking out. There we go. wanted that just for a little bit of color. I'm not seeing comments. There we go. Hi, Carla. Susan, how much for these? I think I posted them today for $16.95. If you look down in the comments of my page, it's, it's in there. It measures um, 13 inches wide at the widest point by 16 inches long. And I can put um, a rope on the back if you wanted it as, you know, door decor. Or I can put the, the um, things on the back so you can mount it to a wreath. That's what I liked about this. It kind of took up the whole side of the wreath, as you can see. You're welcome. I'm just making sure I'm getting all the comments. There we go. All right, then I have three pumpkin picks. These are the last ones. I've used these on a few of the fall designs that I've done and these are the last three of the season I cannot get them anymore so I'm going to put one up top here the white one in the middle love these pumpkins. Put a little more glue in there. Just hold it till it sets. And we've got the white one for the middle. You know, this wreath is not that thick, but boy, is it dense. It's hard getting stuff in it. So glad you're here, Carla. I think I'll go in this way with this one. Did you guys see my little commercial today? <laughs> I should have had a bloopers tape. It took about eight or nine tries till I stopped running my words together. <laughs> So we've got our pumpkins in where I want them. Now what I have, I don't know if you can see these, those are like acorns. Aren't they the cutest? So we've got two of the white and three of the orange. So... I'm going to place them first. No. I'm going to 
again. Anybody do any decorating this this weekend for fall? Did I put everybody to sleep already? Thank you. Carla is one of the designers in our design group. I'm telling you guys, you're missing the boat. We've got some awesome stuff planned. Thank you, Carla. I appreciate you uh, sharing my page. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions about our new group? Did you all see the gnome I shared? Dawn in our group, she wanted a gnome to match her sign. So I made this up for her. And then when she went live the other week in our group, which is on a Zoom call, so you it's not like a live here. You can actually converse with the designers. So I made this gnome to match her sign, and then she made the cutest wreath using this little guy. Isn't he cute? I put a, a um, snowflake on hers. This one just has a bell at the top. Got a nail that's split. There we go. All right, so I have a few yellow I'm going to place in here, too. So how many do I have? Just for a little pop of yellow color in there. Thank you. Yeah, see, I showed everybody on the live, on our Zoom call, how to make that. While Dawn was making the wreath. any of you ever participated on a zoom call it's awesome it's real time it's not like the delay on here and on our zoom calls on Monday night you get to ask questions of all of us we do booze we do designs and I bet you, I bet you between all of us, we have over a hundred years experience. <laughs> we need to add that up, Carla. We need to add up how many years experience we all have and come up with a total between us all. I think that would be neat. Don't you? some of this in the middle too. And then Friday night, Tequila made a mailbox swag that was to die for. And it was out of um, like a garland. Who would have thought it was absolutely gorgeous. We well, guys can go back. We we did post a picture of it. <laughs> I think that would be cool, Carla. It'd be neat to know. Let's put another yellow up there. See, I've got some orange down here. Yay! <laughs> I'm 
glad you got it. Are you going to do that in the group too, Carla? Or are you doing that on a live? Making your gnome wreath. I've been working already. I go live in our group on the 18th. And I'm going to blow them away. Yay! There's Levon. She's one of our other designers. I'm telling you guys, you're going to miss the boat if you don't sign up soon. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. Tell them, Levon. Levon had never seen a Zoom call, okay? And she just loves it that we can all talk and converse face-to-face -face on the Zoom call, right? Aww. It's awesome, isn't it? And, and get this, guys, okay? Lori from Hardworking Mom is one of the people that joined our group. So she gets to share things while she's on with us. How awesome is that? I'm telling you, you're missing the boat. You need to be joining up. You're missing all the fun. Fun, fun, fun. Now let me see if I put her on there. Is this sticking out too far? I think I'll just kind of mold it to the wreath a little bit. Who's the designer this Friday, Carla? Because I know I saw the calendar, but I don't remember. I know, right? Blown away. And we're available all the time, so if you have a question... You just message us and we help you through it. How awesome is that? I don't know if I want to go inside with that. I might want to. Yep, right after my live tonight, we have our Monday night Zoom call. And if you guys can't make it when it's when we're on our Zoom call, that's okay because we record them. So you can go back at any time. So even if you started now and you missed the Noom, it's recorded. You still get to watch it. There's Susan. She's another one of our designers. See? Pretty soon, they're all going to be on here. I'm telling you, you are missing the action. Where can you go and pay $19.95 a month and get eight designers? It's unheard of. We are looking good here. I don't think I'm going to add any wheat. No. I think we're just, there is Dawn. Okay, who are we missing? We're missing Sandra and Tequila. And then we'd be all here. So if you guys have any questions for any of us, now's the time. I was telling them, Dawn and Sue, they're missing the boat. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. 
our group. Does anybody remember who's on this Sunday or who's on this Friday night? Who's the designer this Friday night? See, I'm not the only one that forgets the calendar. <laughs> Why do they make this glue so stringy? Oh, I hate that. We have had so many laughs. And let me tell you, if Lori, hardworking mom, joins our group, I mean, that's got to tell you something. She was one of the first people to join up. And she is having fun w along with us. Oh, I'm loving this so far. And you know what? There's not going to be any room for a bow. Whoa. Sandy and LaVon are going live on our Zoom call. That's going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sandy does chalk couture and wreathing. LaVon refinishes furniture and she does wreathing. Dawn does wreathing. Susan Susan is our crazy gal of the group. You will love her. Her sense of humor will keep you going. Right, Sue? Now, I have a few oak leaves I may want to put in here. Nope, I don't like that color. I think one right here and one right there. Let me get some more. Several colors here we can add in here. I think a nice green one right there. And Different color. I need right there.
is there with Betty tonight? I don't like the size of that one. I think I like the size of this one better. Yes. And if you joined and you weren't satisfied, you can cancel at any time. But I'm telling you, with the holidays coming up, you might want to check us out. I got all kinds of things rolling around up here to the point where I can't sleep. So... There's going to be some fun in the house. Darn glue. <laughs> it's true. telling you they're fine with it. Alright, I think we're ready to hook our girl up. I don't know that I need anything else. But let me just kind of... I don't know. I don't know. We want to add some of that too. Let's see. How many on watching already do wreaths? Any of you do wreathing? Painting, crafting, what's your strength? No problem. Hi, Cindy. How are you? What you been up to? we could do these lives on a zoom call that way everybody can talk back and forth just makes it more interesting okay 
sunflowers, we got leaves, we got pumpkins, we got some spiky stuff. Let's get this girl on here. Wait a minute. We need something just right inside there. I'll probably look at it several times before tomorrow and change something on it anyhow, but hey, it is what it is. Always creating. I need another one of those. I think. We're good. All right, let's get this girl in here. And already, I lost my needle. Oh well. We'll just wing it. All right, let's see what we can do here. We can get down through here. There you go. There's the link to our page. Come join us. What do you got to lose? Just have a little fun. Have a few laughs. Okay. Now we'll get this down in there. Dawn, can you post a picture of the wreath that you made on your live? The gnome wreath? Does it allow you to post a picture? And Carla's doing a special tonight. Alright, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. I think we're done, y'all. What do you think? It's like scream fall. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Lori. Like I said, I have only three of these left. Got the boy. Oh, thank you, Susan. Another boy. And then we got one with pigtails left. Thank you. We've got that. I just, I didn't think I wanted to hold on to these pumpkins till next year. They're just screaming, put me in a wreath. So there we go. And I know what else I wanted to show you. I listed these today, too. Well, I put them on my Facebook page and on Tequila's Unbreathable page. Oh, okay. All right. These were handmade by me to match this ribbon. 
Now I'm selling one of the signs already with the ribbon made. And then one of the signs with five yards of ribbon. So there you go, you already have the sign, you already have the ribbon, you put it on a, let's see, what we could do with that. I know I got a lot of grapevines here. Well, here's this, we'll go with the oval one. And the one ribbon has sunflowers on it, so... Oh my gosh, look, all you need, you can put that at the bottom if you wanted, put this at the top, and a few pumpkins or sunflowers, and boom, you got yourself a wreath. Oh, thank you. So that's real simple. Or you can get the ribbon with the other sign. Or if you want the sign and you want a whole another uh, bow, I can do that. And did you all see the signs we made last week? This is one of them. Cardinals appear when angels are near. You want the sign with the ribbon? Susan, five yards of the ribbon. You told me, all you have to do is private message me your um, zip, and I'll figure up the shipping. She so wants the sign with five yards of ribbon. You got it. And I only made two of these, so there's only two. I did make a real pretty wreath with this on a cream-colored grapevine wreath, and the lady loved it, but she didn't want the sign. So... So yeah, these are the only two made. You got it. All right, Susan wants that and five yards of ribbon. You got it. I forget what I listed it for. I think it was, it's in my thing. I'll, I'll message you everything. Just send me your zip, okay? All right. So, I wanted to ask you some questions. If you joined our group, what would what are the things you would look forward to seeing or learning? What what are the things that you struggle with in wreathing the most? I should get my little easel and just stick this sucker up. Stand it up. Sorry, it's kind of in the way there, isn't it? You want the cardinal sign too? Okay. I can make another one. This is actually... Um, did you see the, the one I made last week with it? Cindy, you struggle with bows. No problem. That's something we can easily handle. Let's make a bow. All right, Cindy wants that and that. Let's just make a bow. What kind of bow maker do you have? Do you have an easy bow maker? See if I can move this down a little. Do you have any kind of bow maker? Okay, got your zips, Susan. Let's see. Well, 
let's just make bow for you. Let's do a fall bow. Okay, we've got um, leaves. We've got, let's do a scarecrow one. How about it? We got this. We got some leaves. Let's see. What other colors? I can put an orange in there. Need to scroll up so we can see some of the comments. You have a four in one. I don't know that I've seen a four in one. You know what? Let's ditch the let's ditch this. Okay. And let's do this. Is it similar to an easy bow? Okay. I didn't know. Alright, let's do this. Okay. We're going to make a long tail here. We're going to make a 14 inch tail. Okay. I got to find that darn spool holder thing. Is this it? Maybe it is. If it is, that would be awesome. <laughs> and you have the probo, the hand? Okay. So what about a 14 inch tail? And then we're gonna do it about six inches. Okay. So all I'm doing is measuring it out to six inches, twisting it and putting it in here. Okay. So I'm going to measure it out to about six inches again. Twist. Put it down in and twist. Let me see, how many was I going to do of this? Okay, let's do three on each side. a third. So all I did was twist and push it down. And then I'm going to have this out here to this. Then I'm going to stretch these out. Okay. I'm going to space them out. So we're going to have three loops on one side and three loops on the other side. Okay. Make sure this will loop up for me. Yep. See, I'm holding it down because I don't have it secure. All right. Then with this one, See how it all runs in the same direction, the print? Hi, Johnny. How are you? The twisting is important. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. See you on the Zoom call, baby. <laughs> all right. With this one, because it all runs the same way, we're not going to do the twisting. We're just going to loop it back and forth. Okay? So I'm actually doing two of this one. And see, why is that not working? I 
should be going down. Okay. All right. This is what I do when I have trouble. <laughs> I cheat. Because sometimes I can never get it the way I want it. So, I get my tails the way I want it in the direction I want it to go, okay? So I'm just putting two pieces in here and pulling it down because I can't get it to go the way I want it to go. Now these I'm gonna do about five inches. Now this is the two and a half inch, okay? Now again, I'm just looping it back and forth I want it to go just a little bit shorter than the ones on the bottom, than the ones under it. So let me, I got ahead of myself. I'll do this in my hand and then I'll put it down. That way I'm getting the loops the exact size I want them. There, okay. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so we got two of the two and a half inch and on each side and three of the one and a half inch. Now, we're gonna go back and we're gonna add one on each side of the one we put on the bottom. Okay, and we're going to just go a little bit shorter than what we have on there. I'm trying to get this to come off. It doesn't matter with this one because it's not reversible, but I'm trying to show you how it needs to be done. Okay. pinching it down in there and then I'm cutting my tail just a little bit shorter than that one. Now I need a zip tie. I use all kinds Carrie. I have the one that I'm looking for it. My one that I just stick the just has the two prongs sticking up. I mean, not like this one. The Easy Bow. This is the Easy Bow. I have the Pro the Hand. And I have... Um, I'm trying to think the name of the other one. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up a little bit so I can get the zip tie. And this is not long enough for the zip tie. So I need a bigger one. And it's under me here. There's a there we go. I I like the pro the hand and I like this one. The other one is basically just for holding it in place. Um now you don't want to tighten this too tight, but I also want to get my pipe cleaner in there. Okay. So we have the three, one and a half on the bottom, three on one side. Now I will go ahead when I when I tighten it. These little pieces that I spliced in there to get my tails going in the direction I wanted, they're not even going to show. And when you pull it tight, it's going to hold them in place. Bodabra, that's the other one, yep. If you have trouble with your hands, um, 
the Pro by the Hand is the best one, I think, to use. And this is all stuff we go over in our group. I mean, we go over bows constantly because it's the thing that people struggle with the most in their designs. Um, and then once you get comfortable with that and you want to graduate to grapevines, we go over that. about ready to sneeze. <laughs> Phew, excuse me. Lori, did you see my commercial on the design page? Took your advice, dear. And it only took me like seven takes. <laughs> But I got it. All right, so we've got three, two, and one. All right. Then when you have it where you want it, I'm gonna dovetail. I was telling them, Lori, even you're in our group. And that's got to say something. Telling them they're missing the boat. And how much fun the Zoom calls are because we can talk face to face. And how much we've got coming up. See? Even Lori's in our group. How can they go wrong? Right? So see how simple that was? You can do this, Cindy. I showed them the gnome that we made when... Um, Dawn did her gnome wreath, and I made the gnome to match her wreath. Check these out, Lori. Handmade. Aren't they cute? I put it in my grapevine wreath tonight. All right, then, then I would pull tighter on your zip tie once you got it where you want it. And usually I use pliers. Whoa, my computer. All right. And because my zip tie is showing a little, then I take a little piece of this off. I fold it and fold it. And I take it through here. And I tie it to cover up my zip tie. It just finishes it off. It gives it that little extra touch. Now I gotta fluff it all again because I kind of <laughs> defluffed it when I turned it over. There we go. How simple is that? You are so welcome. Cindy, are you in our group? I think you are, aren't you? I'm sure Carla will be going over the bow tonight when we do, um, she's doing a special, she's gonna be doing this thing she's doing tonight on one of her lives, but she's gonna practice tonight. And give us our front row seats so we can ask questions. Okay. 
there you go. If I had room for it, <laughs> I could have used it on this one, but I didn't have room. Is there any other questions you guys have? Anything else you're struggling with? Or that you want to learn more about? Here, I'll just put that down here. There we go. Just to present the wreath. How's that? Cindy, that's all you can do is practice, practice, practice. Yep. Lori, she's our bow queen. <laughs> she does such an awesome job. One of these days, we're all going to be that great. It takes time. There is someone in our group who will remain nameless who refuses to do her bows on, on her lives. And if you would look at her bows, her bows are awesome. I think she needs to just jump in with both feet and do it. See? You'll be able to watch Carla tonight. See that? Cindy and Lori are in our group. So what's stopping everybody else? We had some button issues. We got our button fixed again today. So, and I don't know what LaVon and Sandy have scheduled um, for this Friday night. But it's going to be awesome. I wish you could have seen LaVon's um, mantle that she just did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I said you will remain nameless. <laughs> I wasn't going to rat you out. <laughs> she does awesome bows. She really does. And grapevines. And we have so much fun. And then you get Susan going. And then, <laughs> then we have a blast. There you go. You've got plenty of time. <laughs> On a sad note, everybody say a little prayer. Our, our local large hospital here lost um, three infants to uh, a waterborne um, bacteria. They, were, they already had compromised systems, but um, eight babies in the NICU came down with it. So you did miss me, Wilhelmina. But you can always catch me on the replay. Are you settled in yet? See, now if you were on our Zoom, we could talk back and forth and converse. With the lives, I have to sit here and wait. There's always a delay with the comments. Zooms are so much more fun, so much more interactive. Just ask LaVon. She had never seen, never been on a Zoom till she got in our group. I know, Carrie, say a little prayer. Three little angels. And it is because they were born before 32 weeks, but, um, and there's five that, one is going to make it, and the other four have made it. But um, now they're they're not taking any more babies in that hospital um, that will be born before 32 weeks because they're just they just want to make sure they got it under control. Yes. There's nothing to be shy about, Cindy. It's usually just a bunch of us getting together, having a great time. And and you're our paying customer. It's up to you to ask the questions and join in. 
It's fun though, isn't it? We had an awesome time the other night when uh, Lori was on. Oh, Tequila's mailbox swag was just absolutely gorgeous. And I couldn't believe it was just made out of um, garland. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, still not moved in? Hopefully it won't be much longer. All right, guys. Wilmina, watch the, the replay. Um, we did this wreath. I handmade these. Which, who was it? Susan, you got to let me know which one you want. Oh, no. You wanted the wheelbarrow and the cardinal sign. And some ribbon. <laughs> all right guys i thank you for joining me and uh i'll see you in a few minutes cindy and Lori, if you're still on i know it's just so sad my heart just goes out to the parents you could tell in their press conference how upset the staff was too so you are so welcome that's what we're here for Okay? All right, guys, you have a great night, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay? Bye-bye.